Hello, and welcome to the Title III HSI STEM Grant Technology Training Series. Today, we're going to give a brief introduction about the iPad cart. As you can see on the front of the cart, there is an alphanumeric lock. Each lock is color-coded to the cart, and the codes will be given to the faculty members. On the side of the cart, you will see the power cord. That is to, to plug in the cart to make sure that the iPads charge. And on the back of the cart, you will see the power button. The switch needs to be flipped up to turn on the cart and charge the iPads. And below that, you'll see this panel with numbers and slots. The slots are the lights that tell you if the iPad is charging or not. Right now, they are dark, which means that the iPads are not plugged in. If the light is green, that means the iPad is fully charged. And if the light is orange, that means the iPad is still charging. As you can see here on the top of the cart, there is a secret compartment, and inside this compartment is the USB cord that plugs into the computer to update the iPads and add apps. And here, you will see another lighted panel. This panel will also let you know if the iPads are charging or if they are fully charged. The lights will turn green or orange. And here you'll see the inside of the iPad cart. At the top of each iPad cart, there is a label with the number of the cart on it. Inside the cart, you'll see the MacBook Air. I use the MacBook Air for adding apps and updating the iPads. On the left-hand side of the cart, you'll see a small white hook. Attached to the hook is a bag with charge cords inside, just in case one of the iPads dies on you. And here you'll see we have 30 iPads in each cart. There's numbers on top of every slot, which correspond to numbers on the back of the iPads as you'll see here. When you finish with the iPads, just simply place it back into the slot and plug the cord back in. Make sure the cord is pushed all the way in to make sure that the iPad charges correctly. Thank you for watching our introduction of the iPad cart. If you would like a list of all the apps that are currently installed on the iPads, please check the ATIDS website under Faculty Resources. And if you'd like any apps installed, please contact us. Thanks.